In this video, we will jump into our Facebook Ads Manager and get to know the three levels of in Facebook Ad, what to do with each level and how to work with each level. If you don't know me, my name is Anetti Block. I am a digital adapter, also showing real estate agents how they can dominate their market in real estate, being hyperlocal, omnipresent and relevant. So today I want to go into the Facebook Ads Manager, but before we do, I am asking you if you have not subscribed yet to our channel and want to know when our videos come live, just subscribe and ring the little bell up there so you know and will be notified when our new videos are posted and keep you up to date with all the Facebook changes going on. So in this video today, we are going into our Facebook Ads Manager and our Ads Manager for the beginning now has three levels. So if you want to run Facebook advertising, you will deal with three levels within your Facebook ad. So the first level is nothing else than where we are having our objective. What do you want Facebook to do? What you want Facebook to give you? And I will show you a little bit more when we are going into our Facebook Ads Manager because a few things have changed. But usually within our Ads Manager, the next level is our Ad Set. So our Ad Set is where we are put on our targeting and setting up our budget. And again, I will go into our Facebook ads. So where we are, or where I showing you everything in each level. So you know your way around. And in our third level in our ad, it's our creative. Our creative is our sales copy and our media format we are using when placing our advertising so that we are stopping our followers or everybody who sees our advertising in their scrolls. So now let's jump into our Facebook ad. So I went back here. If you don't know your way around now, this is the new UX system Facebook puts out. Everything looks a little bit different, but over time you will be as well on the new UX system. So just be aware if you don't uh, have changed yet and you have still the blue bar up here just go up to the three little lines like the little hamburger or even you have those nine dots now just press them and your business tools will arrive there as well they just will be like links and now you have to look for your ads manager so i press go into ads manager and now we want to create an ad in our test account. So here are our Facebook ad. When we are clicking create a ad, now Facebook opens another window. And it takes some time because we are on Zoom. And now here we are. If you don't see the same screen, sometimes it's using existing, then you know already, or you maybe have two screens opening when you are running an advertising for the first time. You always want to go to the guided uh, Facebook ad. So that will give you, you see everything I see. So this is the guided format. It's usually on the left side, but don't so read what it said it should say guided so now that we can guide you through so this is our first at level level number one what do you want facebook to do for our real estate industry we are usually putting out reach reach is when we want to reach out to people where we want to just put um, something out where we are reaching to a lot of people with uh, uh, not so much restriction, but advertising to a broad audience. In our next consideration, we do have traffic, engagement, video views, lead generation and messages. In our consideration, we usually work with traffic, engagement, video views, lead, ge uh, lead gen and messages. When we are using traffic, that means we are sending our people 
out of Facebook into a third party landing page. If you are not very, very uh, um, knowledgeable about Facebook advertising, this is something I wouldn't recommend because now we are working with pixels and we have to place our pixels, isolate our events, and that's something for another video. But when we are beginning Facebook advertising, Facebook made it very, very easy for us to keep all our visitors within Facebook, and Facebook likes this very much. So now we can use, instead of traffic, we use lead generation. We also use engagement for engaging, but also to protect our advertising. For video views, we are using video views to establishing and building our audiences. Lead generation, we are using to generate leads and messages we are using in congestion with a messenger bot. With, we are using ManyChat where we now have a guided conversation if somebody opts in and wants to message us. And then we have the conversion where we are only working with the conversion objectives. Again, this is something where we are sending people outside of Facebook, where we need to use our pixels and pixel isolation. And I wouldn't recommend it too much when you just starting out. So both are with traffic and conversion. Remember, we are sending everybody outside of Facebook, but Facebook prefers to keep everybody within uh, Facebook. So instead of traffic and conversion, you easily can use the lead generation. So for this video, I press the lead generation and now we can label everything in here up front if you want to, but there is no need to it. We always can do it within our Facebook campaign. So we continue and now you will see we are going in our pain level and in our campaign where we are now choosing, especially in the real estate industry, if we have to use the special ad category. So we talked about who, what we want us Facebook to do. We want leads, we want just video views. We just want to reach out to people. So now we choose lead generation. And when you are in the real estate industry, now you have to use the special ad category when uh, you're running lead gen and not using a custom audience. So here we are using housing. And now this would be finish the level number one. What do we want Facebook to do? Our second level is our ad set level. Within our ad set level, we go into targeting where we are targeting costume, new audiences, custom audiences, where we have several democratic interests we can use. And also we can place our budget in here within Facebook. So where we now can choose between a daily budget and the, uh, with a lifetime budget. I would highly recommend when you are starting Facebook out to start with um, um, a lifetime budget where we are setting the budget for a certain time. And that's where we will go into a little bit later how to structure your advertising on the ad set level. And then we have our ad where, remember, we are talking about our creatives and our ad set. So where we are putting out um, a video, a static image, that's where we uploading all in here. You can choose between an image, image or a video. Here is our primary text. This is our advertising copy so that we are enticing our people. We put the ad in front so that they opt in. So do you have something interested? They may be interested. So this is our text, our headline, and here we are now our call to action. We usually learn more and that's something again will be a, another video where we are talking about our ad, ad 
category where we now have our creatives as well putting our advertising text into. And with a lead generation, now we have created lead forms called instant forms, where now we are channeling our visitors to if they want to sign up to collect name, number and email. So you see, then we publish and we are waiting to get our advertising approved. And there it's nothing else to our advertising. Again, we have three levels within a Facebook ad. Our first level is our objectives. What do you want Facebook to do or to produce, lead, reach, views? So that's all you have to think up front. Then we have our level two, our ad set level, where we are targeting and budgeting. And as well, our level three, our creatives, where we put together our sales copy and our media format. And then uh, finishing our advertising, our lead generation. Now we have our instant forms or our lead forms where people opt in providing name, number and email. So this is everything to a Facebook advertising. Remember, there it's nothing. We have our campaign level, our ad set level, and our ad. That's all what is an advertising all about. If you wanna run a successful Facebook advertising campaign, then stay tuned. I will show you how you can successful run advertising campaigns because advertising itself is nothing complicated, but a fully structured campaign from, a from stopping people all the way up to making an appointment, that is a fully structured campaign. And I show you in upcoming videos where you can see what we are doing and how to run a successful advertising campaign. 